My name is Fernando, and I'm a technical marketing manager here at GitLab. This is my dog, Oreo, and today I'm going to show you a little bit about license compliance and how it can work for you. Some licenses are very restrictive and can have legal implications such as releasing confidential code under the same license. This is where license compliance makes sense. It allows you to set a policy for denied and allowed licenses. Now let me show you how it all works. License scanning is integrated into the pipeline. A good way of setting up the pipeline is to include all the security scans after the build stage, with license scanning being one of them. That way we know that the container can build and a static set of tests are run before we deploy to a staging environment. The license scanning results are integrated with the merge request. Viewing the full report, we see the red X meaning the license was denied, the green check meaning the license was approved and the gray circle meaning there's no policy set for that license. Here in the license compliance view are all the licenses that were detected in the master branch. This section would usually be accessed by the security team to audit the licenses within a project. Merge requests can also contain a list of approvers for license issues. This means that only a group of selected individuals can approve the merge request if a denied license is detected. In the case of licenses, this would usually be the security team or any group within your organization that handles licenses. You can dig deeper in the merge request and see exactly what happened. Here are the two denied licenses that are blocking it. Now I'm going to go ahead and configure a policy. This is usually something done by the security team or legal, but can differ based on your organization. We'll go ahead and create a policy for this project. I'm going to add BSD as an approved license and new BSD as a denied license. This will set up the policy for the project. In the project settings, we can go ahead and add merge request approvals. Here's where we can add a group of approvers to the license check. These will be the people that can approve the merge request if a denied license was detected. You can set up different rules for those merge request approvals, such as preventing the author from merging as well as those who have been contributing code in the merge request. After setting up the policy and the approvers, all we need to do is add license scanning to the CI.yaml and then we're good to go. Here's a few things we've learned about license compliance. To keep up to date, check out about.gitlab.com and be sure to subscribe. Here at GitLab, anyone can contribute.